Hey folks, I'm Jack Fawcett, and welcome to this demo and review of this stunning Music Man Cutlass in this brand new maroon mist finish. Now, these guitars uh, harken back to one of the early Music Man guitar designs. It's got three single coils and kind of the S guitar style. You've got a five-way switch. This has active noise canceling technology, which is really, really cool because, you know, the common thing with single coils is, boy, you just get on stage and you get that hum, especially if you're playing in a club that has bad wiring or there's lots of lights on stage and things, and oh, and you just want to kill that hum, but noiseless pickups, you know, they're out there, and unfortunately, nobody has an opinion on them. <laughs> These are great sounding pickups and the active noise canceling technology I, it's really worked for me. I thought it sounded great. It was silent, but the pickups still have a lot of character. And one of the things that's nice about these pickups, and I found this with other Music Man guitars in general, is they're aggressive and high output, but not lacking in character. A lot of times when you get a high output aggressive pickup, it just sounds flat and dead, like if you try and play it clean. And I found that Music Man guitars don't have that. They, they seem to have the pickup thing down because these pickups, they're, you know, these have that sort of snarling S style guitar sound, but retaining a beautiful chiminess and a rich character, even if you want to back it off. You got a volume and tone. Again, you have a five-way switch. You have a two-point tremolo, a Music Man-style tremolo. The finish is just stunning. We're going to show some more close-ups here. Again, it's called Maroon Mist. It has just the right level of the sparkly flex underneath and everything. And, you know, it's like if it doesn't have enough, it's like what's the point? And if it has too much, it's just gaudy. This is tasteful without being gaudy. Let's say that. This also has a figured roasted maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. The neck is gorgeous and it is super comfortable. It has a satin finish on it, which is very, very comfortable. The shape of the neck is super comfortable to play. It has some kind of nice girth to it, but without being, without feeling like you're just grabbing a toothpick and everything. Spurs a locking tuners on it. Super comfortable kind of contour heel under the neck. It's very, very well balanced. I can't say enough good things about this guitar. And I have regularly been stunned with the level of attention to detail and quality of what's coming out of Music Man guitars really every time I've played them because I've been playing silhouettes for a very, very long time. Uh, and I always thought those were great guitars that sort of flew under the radar. Well, you know, I've played the Music Man Mariposa right here behind me 
quite a bit lately, which is another superb guitar from Music Man. And this one, it's just, it's so comfortable to hold, it's so comfortable to play, it really lends itself to not fighting you. You can just kind of play and, and breathe through the guitar without worrying about it giving you too much resistance. So you just heard kind of a, a kind of some fun tones that I like with it in the intro. I'm also gonna play each pickup setting, both clean and overdriven, starting with the neck going all the way up to the bridge. We're gonna do that in the next part. I'm playing through a Franklin 5E3 Deluxe that's going into a 210 cab loaded with Jensen's, I'm using a Keeley Red Dirt for the overdriven tones, and a Lovell Music Lab Celeste Reverb that's on, adding a little bit of air. In the intro, you also heard a Keeley Echoes delay that was on. I'm gonna turn that off for the next part and just use a little bit of reverb with the clean tones and then the red dirt for the overdrive so that you can kind of get what does this guitar sound like on each pickup setting and everything. It really nails those, uh, the two and the four settings. It has that nice kind of quackiness to it and everything, which is really great. So let me know, what do you think? Have you tried the Music Man Cutlass or the Sterling Cutlass? What do you think of this guitar in general? What do you think of this finish? I think this finish is just stunning. This kind of hits all the right sort of flashy modern appointments but still retaining kind of a retro vibe and charm and not not lacking in character in any way what do you think of music man guitars what do you think of this model what do you think of the finish let us know in the comments i'm jack fawcett please remember to like share and subscribe check out the music man cutlass we'll see you next time